Having made a name for himself in the handball circles, Abel was known for using every trick in the book to win. He would sometimes take long breaks to catch his breath, inspect a ball a little too often, and call numerous timeouts to change his handball glove. He also attempted to intimidate referees. But at the same time, he added a certain finesse to the game. Watching Haber was both entertaining and awe-inspiring. The media loved Paul, but they weren't the only one. Women were also attracted by his charm. But like all of Paul's other possessions, they were abandoned. Paul was married four times, and like his father before him, was physically and verbally abusive. On the handball court, Haber was a hero and a superstar. He took the sport to a level of celebrity that was previously unknown. But while he hurt his wives, friends, and children, there was nothing he hurt more than his own body. Being a sports hero didn't mean Haber was above the law. He spent time in and out of jail. Many times it was people from the handball association that ended up having to post his bail so he could play in a tournament that night and win the bets that kept the sport alive. He traveled across the United States going from tournament to tournament and from bar to bar. Thousands of dollars would run through his fingers like water. When Haber finally exited the handball court in the 90s, he solidified his credentials as a professional handball player and a modern-day Jewish sports hero. Paul sacrificed his family, friends, and body for this sport. Alone and nearly penniless, Paul died a legend in 2003.